Hey guys, and welcome to this brand new video on my channel. In this video, we're going to go over one of our favorite AFK skills, and that is Fletching. Got a couple of money makers in this episode to go over and how it's decent profit at the minute, and how it can be decent XP as well. What I found with Fletching is anything which makes money is actually decent GP as well, and you will make profit. But what I would say before we get Fletching, um, some of the items which are pretty much essential to make some money during Fletching is definitely the Fletching Cape, and the Fletching Cape does have a decent perk of making extra ammo. The most affordable and probably the best one to start with is the Portable Fletcher, um, then it would be the Fletcher Cape which will be the next priority. If you do have the money and you have bought one as well, a Brute will help you make even more profit. Now in some aspects of Fletching, especially towards the higher end, you need these three items to actually make the money. But in this case, I definitely feel confident in just saying the Fletching Cape and the Portable will make you a profit. So as you can see from my info, what we're going to be making is Headless Dino Arrows. Now, fletching these can make roughly 10 mil per hour, but also 900k experience. You should be looking at making roughly 45k arrows per hour, which will generate with the perks of the Fletcher, Brute, and Fletching Cape, will generate just under 55,000 dine arrows, which is an extra 10k, which is basically where your profit will come from. Um, as you can see from this here, the actual price for the arrows itself, you will just break even from the shards and the headless arrows. It's the extras you're going to make with the cape, which is what's going to bring you a profit. So I'm just going to go ahead and get fletching and just uh, show you the end result. And then we can go from there. But as you can see, it's um, up to 20 you'll make per sort of invo, so it's actually more than broad. And the XP you're getting as well is 330 per drop, which is actually quite high. Um, if there were more available on the GE and more viable, this could probably be better than broad and also bring in profit as well. Now, someone like me, I have a stack of 1 million sort of broad arrowheads and headless arrows. I'm looking now thinking maybe Dino Arrows are a solution to actually make profit while doing all the fletching, which um, we could see that, that definitely works. So I'll finish these arrows and come back to you with uh, how we get on. So while I'm uh, just fletching away, I'll show you this as well. So this is basically the wiki and one of the money making guides. It does show that... Um, this method is only profitable with the Fletcher, Brute, and Fletching Cape. So 10 mil is basically what you make due to these three items. And again, these three items are what will make profit with high-end Fletching. You're going to be 95 before you even touch these, so Fletching Cape won't be too far off. The Brute, if you've got quite a lot of Bibles to do, especially Bibles which can use portables, definitely buy one. Um, it will be an expensive outlay, but I think it will be something which will definitely pay itself over time. The thing is with a brooch as well, if you've got 120 herb lords to go especially, you will definitely make a profit from it because um, you're going to be doing that much herb lore and especially with secondaries being such a high price, it will definitely um, it will definitely pay itself by just saving secondaries. So that is our 1k finish, so let's just have a quick price check. So the brooch pretty much went into work and we got an extra 225 which is going to be a total of 850k. All in with 4.6 mil, which is about a 400k profit from the actual cost to buy the supplies as well. Which is not too bad, and as you can see, that this only sort of took me a couple of minutes. Once you do this 45 times, that is where the sheer amount of profit comes from, from fletching these arrows. And as well, 900k XP per hour is pretty, pretty decent fletching XP as well. So what you can do, once you finish your dino arrows, there is another method linked to dino arrows as well, which is still currently producing. Now I have made a separate video on this and this is actually tipping these arrows with a form of God Animal. So I'll just look in the bank. Uh, we can do some chat. Now again, this is another method which only actually makes profit due to having this set up. So here we can charge and then this is actually 60 interactions. This is what I'm looking to buy for 200 mil fletching because it's 300 XP. And it's a 60 sort of stack you can produce as well. So it's very FK, but what very high XP as well. But doing this actually makes money. So if I was to go on to the wiki as well, the wiki does a very good job of things like this as well, um, especially methods which are very similar and just have a different element to it. So here we have the charging the dino arrows for the um, money making guide. As you can see, what is needed is all three items, all three items. And here it's got a fantastic sort of like graph. To show if you're missing an item, what's going to happen to your profit. So if we had none of these three items, we wouldn't make anything at all. The Fletcher is what brings in 4.2 mil. The Fletcher and the Fletching Cape brings in 4.6 mil. And the Fletching Cape is roughly valued at 400k. And then everything combined is 9.6 mil. And this is why like 99 is recommended for the benefit of the Cape. But what you can also do as well, sometimes different gods will make different profits. So this is Jazz, when at the minute is 9.9 .9 mil. Dick is 10.6 and 
and full is 8.8 now normally full is what's making the most so it does change as well so definitely like if you are looking at doing this method i'm the, i'm currently buying full animator minutes and then that's what i'll use to sort of like afk my um fletching and then i'll be doing sort of 300k xp which i know is a lot less than the dino arrows we just previously looked at but it's still very very much afk so dino arrows can be a two-step process either you just want to fletch them themselves and then move on and just do another set that would be quicker xp or if you want to tip them you can make even more xp and more profit from your arrows so this is a pretty much high level fletching guide and these two methods were needing 95 or really you want 99 to make more profit I'm going to show you one final fletching method in this episode, which is only going to require 90 fletching. So back to Mainscape. Right, so I'm just finishing the Jazz Arrows. I'll throw them in the bank because they do take a little bit of a while. So the next method actually requires Elder Logs. So Elder Logs is something, the price is changing quite heavily at the minute. And actually, I'm going to go into a G just proof stuff like this as well. Because such an influx of Elder, Elder Logs are coming into the game due to the woodcutting update and people trying to get the axe, Elder Logs are very cheap. Um, or cheaper than it have been for a very long time. So again, before checking anything or before doing anything, let's check the margins. So 11k if we buy that. So that is 7.7k, which I don't think an elder log's been that price for a while. So what we're going to be making is elder headless arrows. So that is 928 GP. What we need to do is just buy a couple hundred feathers so basically what we are doing for a money making method here is actually making headless elder arrows so as you can see here it's not the normal arrow shafts we want to make the elder um, arrow shafts so as you see nice and afk obviously the xp is going to be a bit rubbish but this is what we're doing for, for profit so what the wiki says which we'll just whack up now so the wiki says this is 4.6 mil but this is heavily heavily afk um, as you can see here, what they're basing their price on for the Elder Logs is actually quite below what we're bolting for. So there's a chance to make even more money because there's so much Elder Logs in the game um, and they are very cheap. So what I'll do now, we've fletched some of the invokes. So one Elder Log set of Elder Shafts is going to be... So if we have a look, so we bought the Elder Log for 7.79. So if we say we bought 8k in for the Log and the Feathers and we sold it for a price of 928. So you're pretty much in a minute due to how cheap the prices are for the headless arrows, you're making something like 6K per log. Now, in terms of logs you're gonna be doing per hour is roughly, from what the wiki says, is 1.4K. 1.4K means you're gonna be making something like nine mil per hour, which for something like this is actually quite mad. The only reason it's high is because obviously the log price is a bit lower. So you can see from here, we have just under 8k for the log and 15 each for the feather so that would be 8k and we've actually bought 98 for a headless arrow and you're going to make 15 so as we've just seen from this g offer 13.6k we've made it for 8k just under 6k profit you're going to be making 1.4k so 8 to 9 mil profit per hour just from afk and making some headless arrows so that is another fletching guide um and this one is probably the highest level one we've done so far Obviously, these three requirements are very high end, the 99 fletching and the brooch. The portable fletcher, I just do it on the portable world, and there's real no need to do it by yourself. And you will get a bonus of things like pulse cores and other stuff if you're doing one like World 84, Combat Academy, or Ed the Fort. The things like the headless arrows as well, um, again, level 90 to do that, very AFK, but it'll make a decent profit as well. But that is fletching, high level fletching, AFK, and decent profits as well. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, please leave me a like. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again very soon.